Emily, thank you very much. Like I mentioned earlier, I only know one guy who caught a touchdown pass from Tom Brady <laughs> and played for Bill Belichick, and that's Matt Mulligan uh, prior to Maine. Uh, so, uh, Matt, uh, the news that, uh, the, that Bill Belichick is no longer the head coach of the Patriots, uh, when you heard that, what did you think? I think if you're a New Englander, it has to be disappointing because of all the success that they've had underneath of Bill. The one thing I always tell people is Bill brought structure, and with that came winning. So when you lose somebody like that, now you're gonna have to regroup, and you're gonna have to decide who now is gonna be your leader. He's been there 24 years. Yep. I mean, so I think it's it's definitely a tough day, but I can tell you I don't think Bill Belichick will be unemployed very long. No, I don't. I think you're right about that. Uh, what's it like playing for Bill Belichick? Bill's one of those guys that every day you walk in the locker room, you know what to expect. And I, oh, it, the standards were really high, mm -hmm. but I understood that. And as long as you did your job like the mantra was, because it was no different than what he was projecting out there than what was in the locker room. But as long as you knew your plays, you studied, you were a good teammate, uh, you were respectful, like you could be successful at New England. And there was a lot of guys that came in there that were still incredible players, and there was nothing against them. But the demanding nature of it wasn't necessarily for everybody, but I relished it, and I was thankful for that year. We see one version of Bill Belichick, uh, you know, to the media and, and, and other avenues, but uh, how is that different from the guy that you saw once uh, those doors were closed and maybe the media wasn't around? Well, the guy that I saw was a guy who did like to have fun. And it's like sometimes people look at that and say, what are you talking about? And it's like, no, he did. Like we had uh, Halloween uh, parties that we all get together when ro roller skates, not me, but other people were. But the other thing I, I wanted to mention was when I, when I got there, like Bill Belichick liked to lift weights. And like that's obviously something that I like to do too, but to see somebody in there at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. hammering the weights, and then you go to a team meeting, and he already got his business done for the day. It showed you like how much he valued what he was doing, and he understood it wasn't just the X's and O's, it was the whole body of work. So when I saw some guy, like, I was like, man, I wanna play for a guy like that. I wanna do the best that I, I can do for him, because not only did he show me respect, but he respected the whole process. You play for a lot of teams uh, in the NFL. You mentioned a little bit about some guys not being able to uh, you know, make it when they came to New England. What was different about your time in New England or playing for him as maybe compared to some other locations? Everybody's on the same level. And I understand that that's not necessarily as far as like ability, but everybody's on the same level as far as you're the player, your teammates, like there is no hierarchy there. Obviously you have Tom Brady and the guys in the locker room, we respected him, but at the same time, like we respected everybody. So Tom, like, so Bill, treated everyone with that same deal, same standard. It wasn't like, oh, Tom, like you can be five minutes, minute for a lay, or a mulligan, nope, you gotta be right on time. It was everybody, same standards across the board, and that brought continuity because, again, you knew what to expect, but you knew that Bill was being fair as well. I guess, are you surprised that it came to this point? You saw Tom Brady go play his last couple seasons somewhere else. Uh, are you surprised that now Bill Belichick probably gonna be a coach somebody, somewhere else? Yeah, I'd be honest with you. I think I would be lying to you if I said I, I actually thought he would be there again next year. I, I really thought that, that you know, it's hard. Like, listen, this league, I tell people all the time, it's quarterback driven. And when you had such, you know, difficulty with that quarterback position the last few years, I mean, it's going to be hard to get wins. And plus, you, they lost some of their key players this last year. So I thought he'd be back for another year, but he's not. But I can tell you he's definitely going to have a job. Before we go to break here, is there one memory, one thing that stands out from your time with him, aside? from, you know, maybe throwing some plates around at 5 a.m. that uh, that, uh, that you might think uh, so, you're talking about? Yeah, so when I caught the touchdown pass, what happens is uh, they have a, like a play of the week. They put up different pitchers all across the facility. And when I came in uh, that Monday morning, my, my pitcher was up on the door that goes into the cafeteria. And I met Bill coming out, and he goes, you made the board. That was it, like, you know, but that's all that I needed. Like, it was like, that was him saying like, hey, great job. Yeah, because I had just got there, it was only four weeks in. Yep. You know, so for him to say something like that, you know, I thought was a, a really big deal. Plus the fact that he showed me respect, like being a blocking tight end, he valued that position. But I always remember that, the pitcher was there, hey. the touchdown pass, you got the fists, you know, all that, and he's like, hey, you made the board. You made so. the board. Uh, Matt Mulligan, thank you for coming in, giving us some time. Uh, have to do this again. Absolutely, love to. Yeah, right, all right, you like our new studio too. Uh, right? Yeah, it's coming. It was a great place. <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> All right, back a little uh, more of the forecast right after.